It's now time to make our first sounds on our mouthpiece. For this video, you'll need your mouthpiece and a mirror. If you don't have these, press pause and get those items now. To create a sound on the horn, your lips must vibrate inside the mouthpiece as you blow air into the mouthpiece. Watch as Katie demonstrates this for us. We can use this brass visualizer to show you what the lips should look like inside the mouthpiece. Notice that the opening where the air comes out, or the aperture, is actually quite small. To produce the proper sound, it's important that both the upper and lower lips vibrate. Now let's hear Katie perform a correct mouthpiece tone. To create this sound, we're going to first start by blowing air into our mouthpiece as we did before. Practice this with Katie now. Use your mirror to set your mouthpiece correctly. This time I'll count you off. Breathe with Katie. One, two, ready, breathe. Next, after your air is moving through the mouthpiece, gradually move the center of your lips closer without closing your teeth. When they get close enough to touch, your fast air will cause the lips to vibrate, creating the mouthpiece sound. Watch as Katie demonstrates this exercise. You can see how the lips vibrate when touching as Katie demonstrates this on the visualizer. As the air moves, the lips just need to be close enough to vibrate, so it's important that the air never stops moving. Listen again as Katie demonstrates this on the mouthpiece. Now let's try this with Katie. Carefully place the mouthpiece so the rim of the mouthpiece seals against your lip. Remember to sit with proper posture and take a full breath. One, two, ready, breathe. Did you get a mouthpiece sound? Try it one more time with Katie. Get your mouthpiece set. One, two, ready, breathe. Be sure that you have an open sound. It's important that you do not press the mouthpiece against your lips with too much pressure. Do not push up with your chin and do not pinch your lips together. This will create a poor or pinched tone quality. Work to keep your chin smooth, teeth apart, and the center of your lips soft. Listen again as Katie demonstrates a proper mouthpiece sound for you. Now let's practice one more time with Katie. Get your mouthpiece set. One, two, ready, breathe. A common problem when playing horn is air pockets between the lips and gum. To avoid this, keep the inside of your mouth flush against your gums and teeth as you did on your breathing exercises. Your mouth should look like this when creating the correct mouthpiece sound. Practice this one more time with Katie. One, two, ready. Breathe. Now press pause and practice this on your own until you can consistently get a good mouthpiece sound. Now that you can create a good mouthpiece sound, let's practice starting that sound with your lips vibrating from the start. To do this, you simply need to have your teeth apart and your lips touching when you start to move the air out. Watch as Katie demonstrates this sound. 
It's helpful if your lips are a little moist when you start. After you breathe, keep your teeth apart, but have your lips touch as they do when vibrating. Then release the air to create the vibration. You can clearly see the lips vibrating from the start when Katie performs on this visualizer. <laughs> Now, listen one more time as Katie demonstrates this on the mouthpiece. Now, let's try this with Katie. Use your mirror to properly set your mouthpiece. One, two, ready, breathe. Let's try that again. Get set. One, two, Ready, breathe. The mouthpiece sound should not wiggle around or change in sound. If your sound changes, it could mean that your mouth is not still or set correctly. It could also mean that your air speed is not consistent. Your goal is to play the same sound for the duration of your mouthpiece sound. Work to keep your embouchure still and your airspeed consistent like this. Listen one more time as Katie demonstrates a steady sound on her mouthpiece. Now practice this on your own several times until you can consistently get the correct mouthpiece sound with the correct embouchure. Each time you practice, focus on these essential elements of mouthpiece playing. Set your mouthpiece correctly. Make sure your lips are moist. Always take a full breath. Keep your teeth apart and out of the way of the airstream. Keep the inside of your mouth tall and open. Keep your lips soft. Work to have firm corners with a smooth chin. Let your lips vibrate freely in the center. Be sure to keep your embouchure steady and your airstream a consistent speed. Getting a good mouthpiece sound consistently is an important part of playing the horn.